Hi there, this is a, another video, a quick tutorial on how to extract statistics from uh, a raster um, and store them in a shapefile or indeed any uh, vector uh, format. So I've actually done this as uh, using a tool called Region Statistics in MapInfo. So it's obviously commercial software. So we're, we're using QGIS Bond here. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing, but in um, in QGIS, in open source QGIS. So as you can see, I've got um, uh, a sort of frequent view that I often have in my videos. So I've got this SRTM uh, around sort of Austria way. In the background there, I've got our uh, amazing uh, high quality Orbis mapping. And um, what I have on top of this SRTM geotiff is uh, three polygons, three vectors. So into these three polygons I'm going to store some st statistics, some uh, um, data derived from this raster background, this SRTM file. So the tool, the tool you use is raster st statistics for polygons and when you double click on it here is the input window and the first thing you need to do is make sure you've got your grid selected, your raster, and um, which is just the SRTM3903, 30, which is the one I'm, I'm using. I've actually loaded it twice into the uh, canvas here, but so I'll just select one of those. I could use a clipped one from an earlier video or whatever, but I'm just using um, one of them. And indeed, you could select multiple and aggregate up the statistics. So once you've selected that, you then say, well, what, what are the polygons you want to put the data into? I want to put them into this QGIS polygons that I've made. That's Those are those red ones. Um, the red outline, which is numbered 1, 2, and 3. And uh, I, then there's some naming and um, conventions and the method where they've sort of got overlapping polygons and that sort of thing. Uh, and I'll, I'll dive into those in a, in a, in a later video. Um, but the key thing is, what are the statistics you want to pick off. So I'm going to go exactly what I did in map info, in fact, which is number of cells, minimum, maximum, and mean, the uh, average. So, and there's a few others there, as you wish. And I am just going to write it straight to a file called temp1.shp, a shape file. Uh, but literally, I could change that tab, make that a map info file, uh, for example, or whatever. So that's actually how powerful this is. So we'll run this. Off it goes. Runs the uh, the tool. Uh, this is a Saga tool that it's running. And when I go move that out of the way, there are my statistics polygons. It creates this layer called statistics. And um, one, two, and three. If I open the attribute browser, you can now see the uh, st statistics that um, have been generated. So there's um, polygon 1, polygon 2 and polygon 3. So polygon 1 up there, that's the count of cells, that's the minimum uh, cell value it found for that one, 845 within there. The maximum is 3460. Uh, this is elevation data uh, and the average was 2218 uh, out of all the cells uh, analyzed, which in the case of grid one was 150 odd thousand. So there you go. That's how you um, uh, get your uh, statistics from the raster, from your grid, uh, out of uh, that, in this case, an SRTM file into a vector uh, layer, and uh, or using open source. I hope that's useful. Thank you.